Hey y'all, I'm Paula Dean, and I hope y'all gonna get out your cards, your chips, your boards, and your dice. Cause tonight it's game night at Paula's house. And while the boys are out getting drinks at Haversham Beverage Warehouse, I'm gonna be dealing out some goodies to please any gambler's appetite. First, it's gonna be a new spin on an old favorite. Would you believe hogs in a sleeping bag? <laughs> and my special crabbies are the ace up my sleeve. And when it's time to take a break and recoup, I'm gonna serve up my taco soup. And you know, since everybody's a winner in my house, I'm gonna be serving up Michael's favorite reward, mini cheesecakes with a chocolate peanut butter cup center. So y'all stick around. You might just learn a trick or two. I need for y'all to pick up some beer, beer. for the, yeah, beer. yeah, some beer for the cocktail that okay. I'm going to do. I, I need for y'all to turn your hats around. Okay. Because Michael and I going to have Love everything ready. Okay. Oh. Beers. Love y'all too. And guys, y'all don't forget now, it's game night. <laughs> I'm going to take advantage while all those men are out of my hair to get us some snacks going. So the first thing that I'm gonna fix, instead of pigs in a blanket, hogs in a sleeping bag. <laughs> I went to the store and I just bought the smoked kielbasa sausage. And what we're gonna do is steam them just to bring them up to temperature. Because it's such a thick, big meat, I wanna make sure that it's really hot in the center. So I'm gonna bring them to room temperature. They're fully cooked, so all they have to do is get hot. When I went to the store, I thought, well, some puff pastry would be a little bit more hearty and filling than crescent rolls. So that's what we're gonna use for our hogs in a sleeping blanket. <laughs> and I'm gonna roll this out just a little bit. I wanna be able to get more squares out of this than I would if I didn't roll it. All right, so I'm gonna come over here and I'm gonna cut my pastry. That's gonna give me six sleeping bags. When I made these for the men at Bell South, I made them just like this. I just rolled them up. But if you really want it to look like a sleeping bag, we're gonna wrap it and we're gonna just kind of fold it back so he looks like his head sticking out of a sleeping bag. I'm gonna change this hog's sleeping bag. I think I'm gonna dampen that edge because I don't want it popping on me. Play with your food as well as your family. He's just too cute. We're gonna beat us up an egg because I want him to be pretty and shiny. All right, so we're just gonna take this and brush it on and that'll give it a real pretty shiny finish. Otherwise, puff pastry will come out real dull looking. All right, these are ready to go into the oven. So I'm just gonna watch it. It may take 15 or 20 minutes. Sure hope those boys are not getting into any mischief. Gosh, what a beautiful day, man. Isn't it great? Let's kind of kick around for a little bit. We got time. Let's do it. We don't mention this stuff to mom, right? No. <laughs> no, mama. <laughs> we hadn't been at the golf course. <laughs> Who is hot? What a great idea. No kidding. Had a good time oh. at the golf course. Yep. Cheers. 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 Oh, well. All right. We're gonna start making our crabbies, and we're gonna use a half a stick of butter, and I'm gonna mix that up with an old English cheese, but it's just good stuff. Now, I'm gonna just press my butter because it's not real soft, but it won't take it long. And we're just gonna pop our cheese open. All right, so I'm gonna mix the butter and the cheese together, and I'm gonna add a couple of tablespoons of mayonnaise and a little garlic powder. All right, and then I'm gonna add a couple of drops of hot sauce to it. Well, that was actually more than a couple of drops, wasn't it? All right, so let's talk about crab meat. 
any crab that you buy is going to be already cooked in the grocery store that you shop in. You can talk with your seafood manager and he can kind of steer you the right way. Now this particular crab that I'm using today has been picked free of shells. So we're safe there. Now I'm just going to kind of stir that together. And this is a great little snack because you can actually make these ahead of time and pop them in your freezer and then just pull them out and throw them in the oven as you're ready to serve them. Now, what we've done is taken just a regular English muffin and split it apart, and I've lightly toasted these. So we're going to take our bread rounds between your butter and your cheese and your crab. These are real, real rich. You don't want to get too much. All right, there you go. And like I said, at this point, you could actually stick these in the freezer. So when your family wants a snack, all you have to do is just pull them out and pop them into the oven. All right, we're gonna put these in, and I hope that those hogs in a blanket are gonna be ready. Oh yeah, those look good. Yeah. Hey, darling. I'm gonna test one of these. <laughs> Mmm, yummy. <laughs> Y'all, that was Michael. And let me tell you, there ain't a dime's worth of difference between he and Rennie. He always turns up just in time for it to come out of the oven. Now I've got strawberry preserves here that I made the other day, or if they want them savory, they can just put a little mustard and mayonnaise on them. Mm-mm-mm. I just love sleeping with a hog. Y'all don't go anywhere, because when we come back, I'm going to be checking on the Krabbies, and I'm going to be making a pot of taco soup. All right, I'm just trying to pull all my ingredients together for this taco soup. Well, this dish is going to be great because they don't have to eat it until they're ready. Because when they're ready, this is ready Paula, for them. Paula, something's burning. Oh, crap, my crabbies. Oh, no. They're all right. Thank goodness I got some more in this other oven. They're just perfect, honey. Don't you worry about them. You know what? I'll put him right in there so I won't be found out. Because I don't have to worry about him taking out the trash. All right. Now these crabbies have been in the oven about 12 minutes and I've just got to try one and I'm gonna sprinkle them with just a little parsley. Just whatever you wanted to. And I've just got to try these. You and Michael, Gertie. <laughs> They're delicious. I'm gonna put these to the side, though, because I really want to get this soup together. And as you can tell, I've had a lot of distractions. So I've kind of burned a couple of things and, oops. May be on the way to burning the next dish. <laughs> gonna toss in some diced onion. And I'm just gonna brown this hamburger meat. Now I love to make this particular soup in the crock pot and just let it simmer for six to eight hours. But the way I'm gonna make it today brings my cooking time down to 45 minutes to an hour. All right, now I'm using a slotted spoon and I'm gonna transfer our ground beef and our onions to our soup pot. This is not gonna take long. Now to put our soup together, we're gonna add a can of kidney beans with the juice. And then I'm gonna add two cans of pinto beans 
All right, now I'm gonna be adding three different kinds of tomatoes to this soup. I'm gonna add a Mexican tomato, tomato with chilies, and just a regular diced tomato. So all we have to do is just dump. Oops. All right, that takes care of the tomatoes. To this now, I'm gonna add a can of whole kernel corn. some green chilies, some black olives, and some green olives, taco seasoning. That's going to give us that Mexican flavor. One package of dry original ranch buttermilk dressing. And we're going to let that simmer for about 45 minutes. Going to add some beautiful green onion tops. So look at that beautiful pot of hearty soup. Now the beauty of this soup is you can make it two days in advance, or you can even put it in the freezer and it'll last up to three months. All right, I've got another pot ready over here in the crock pot because it'll maintain just the right temperature. And we're gonna pull this out later on when I'm really, really short of time. All right, so I want you to see what it should look like after it's been simmering and they'll never know I've been in this. Now let me show y'all the way I like to eat uh, chili and taco soup. I'm gonna start by getting me tortilla shells and then I'm gonna ladle my soup on it. Mmm, and I like that juice. The first thing I'm gonna do is sprinkle me some cheese so it can melt. We just love jalapenos. And I'm just gonna pop out those seeds Michael likes his to make his hair stand up to flip his lid. All right, and to this I'm going to add sour cream. And when we come back, I'm going to show y'all what I cooked up for Michael. I decided to com combine two of his favorite things in the whole world, cheesecake and Reese's Buttercup. So y'all don't go anywhere. I'll be in the kitchen burning some more stuff. You know, the other night as I was drifting off to sleep, I thought, well, now what can I fix for Michael? Because he's got a tremendous sweet tooth, and I know how he feels about cheesecake. So that's what I'm going to do today. I'm going to start with a graham cracker crust. We're going to use just finely ground graham crackers. And I'm going to add some melted butter and some sugar. And then I'm just going to take my fork and mash around in that until it's kind of all moist, just like that. And then I'm just going to sprinkle a little bit into the bottom of a little miniature muffin liner, just like that. And then I'm going to come in there, and I'm going to drop a peanut butter cup down into each one of those. Just drop a candy right there in the center of each of those little liners. Now we're going to mix up our, our cheesecake. And we're going to use two packages of 8-ounce softened cream cheese, a cup of sugar, a fourth of a cup of flour. All right, we're just going to cream this together. All right, and I'm going to add two eggs, but I'm going to add them one at the time. Cheesecake is so very simple to be so very sinful. All right, I'm going to add my flavoring to it now. And, you know, actually a little almond flavoring would be really, really good. But I'm going to just add a little bit of vanilla flavoring. When you're making a cheesecake, actually when you're doing 
any kind of bacon, you'll want to make sure that your butter, your cream cheese, and even your eggs have been brought to room temperature. They'll work much better for you. And we're just going to take our cream cheese batter and pour it right over those peanut butter cups. And these are great to have as a snack while you're working. These are ready to go into the 350 preheated oven and we're gonna let them cook for, oh, maybe about 12 minutes. And let's see if this other batch is ready. Oh, and they are. Hey, Mom. Hey, son. Oh, perfect oh, time. Y'all made, made it back. Uh, <laughs> y'all made it back. Yes. Listen, I was kind of worried about y'all making a beer run. Hey, Mom, I gotta have one of these. No, I hadn't finished oh. decorating them. <laughs> I got a pastry bag with whipping cream. I just cream. wanna hug you. I love you. <laughs> so much. Shush, you little <laughs> <laughs> no! Get him. No! Serious? Yo, get out of my <laughs> kitchen! Get out right now! Okay. <laughs> I wanna watch you finish them. Can I have one, really? No, you cannot. I'm not. I'm done. No. Finish it. <laughs> Finish that one. Okay. There. Thank you. <laughs> I've got some powdered sugar. I've got some grated chocolate, and I've got some whipped cream. So, I think whipped cream, and then a little grated chocolate. I can't wait. <laughs> no, you, you wanted yours now. Away, I'm starving. You wanted yours now. Take it. Finish it. Thank you, I love you. You're Why welcome. You've done me so wrong my whole life. <laughs> well, I've got Holy the perfect smoke. party food. They're better than good. And we're gonna have a perfect family party night with all the games, and Michael and the boys are gonna be joining me, and I'm gonna teach them how to play games. And the only thing missing is the perfect family. <laughs> got an actual secret to share with y'all. If you've been to a party the night before and maybe it got a little too festive, a little hair of the dog sometimes will really perk you up. Now I'm gonna take a regular beer and these are great too if you wanna throw your mug into the freezer and freeze it and get it nice and frosty. Half tomato juice. Gonna give it a couple of swirls. I'm gonna sprinkle it with a little salt and a little pepper, squirt of lime juice, and it really makes for a very, very tasty cocktail. All right, what kind of games y'all got for us? Well, we got a little checkers, and we got a little cards, and I'm not playing in cards. Playing well, I learned Pictionary that too. a long time ago. Pictionary, too. Well, that's Can you guess what that says? No, Paula, hot, bananas hot. That's it, you got it. <laughs> <laughs> Not your mama's banana pudding. <laughs> Isn't that great? Not your mama's <laughs> banana pudding. <laughs> we weren't sure what beer was gonna work for this, but I picked some up and submitted for your approval. This is what beer we're going <laughs> The Three Stooges beer. I think this kind of says it all. <laughs> well, guys, let's get this eating done because I'm ready to beat y'all's brains out at the game. So, as always, America, my family and I send you love and best dishes from our kitchen to yours. <laughs> well, y'all doing something behind my back? Not at all, right in front of your face. <laughs>